the case of Major from Custom House. On the 24th of January 2009, police dumped a car with five youths in it. The youths had been at a community hall party earlier in Plaster. Police found five knives, CS gas, and one of the occupants was wearing a body armor. Early in the afternoon, these guys had been with their friend, Stephen Lewis. He too had also attended the party. But just 45 minutes after his friends had been apprehended by the police, Stephen was to be killed. And this birthed the war between the south and north of Newham. Before this death, Newham had practically been won. Everyone had their own group, but there wasn't really any troubles. The weeks leading up to Stephen's death, there had been a few tit-for-tat attacks from the Stratford boys and custom house with each other. Major was one of the main names from the custom house area at that period. So on the 24th of January, at this party in Plaster, the boys from custom house were trying to get in. A witness, who was Stephen's sister's friend, said as she headed towards the party, she saw Major and heard him say, I've got the thing and I'm going to use it. Trouble kicked off at the party and everybody was told to get out. Witnesses at the party said the group from Custom House were trying to chase one guy from Stratford. But Stephen Lewis objected and tried to stop them. One of Stephen's friends, who we cannot reveal, said he ended up pushing one of the boys from Custom House. The friend then said one of the other Custom House boys then pulled out a knife and then he also said he witnessed Major pull out a knife. He originally said the Custom House boy that pushed him was the one that ended up stabbing Stephen. But then he also added he couldn't be too sure he thinks that they all stabbed Stephen. Stephen had been stabbed twice and in his interview Stephen's friend has said that the first custom house boy had struck twice so if this was the case it could have been killed by one killer instead of two. Another witness later went on to say that she heard Major say I done it I did the murder I done the killing which wouldn't be plausible because if you had just murdered someone you would have been shouting it out to witnesses. A second witness who was with her said she didn't hear such claims. So this was a contradiction to what was originally said. And as Stephen Lewis had not died at the scene, why would he say he just committed a murder? Major admits he was there, but denies he had been the one to have stabbed Stephen. However, he was subsequently found guilty of murder and sentenced to 17 years in jail in 2009. These are his own words. I just want to get one thing straight about this whole Stephen Lewis thing. I ain't killed Stephen Lewis. I'm riding 17 years for a murder I did not commit. Facts. Although I kept my lips sealed and not said a word. Because that's how I stayed, that's how I was brought up. The other side of life <coughs> to come call and write on me and tell a bare face like what they think I don't know like 30 men were accompanying this rat you lot a bunch of vermin fam you don't think you can talk like you're official now you lot are not official man were real steppers you think I'll be in jail like you man would have delivered street justice how you man supporting a man that who took a coward's way out that's mad fam what type of justice are you delivering to Stephen Lewis's family It's crazy fam, I feel like I'm new skateboard right now. And why I say that is, it's easy to blame the man that he's mashing the most works at the time. Get me? Come on, we're violating the borough, like let's get it right fam. Like the custom house boys will violate Newman Borough. It's not a joke fam. Like they know fam, mid, mid noon east, they know what time it was fam. Yeah? When you have a problem like that in their eyes, the only solution is to aid the police to get rid of them. I.e. me, they got rid of me like that.
That's what they've done. It's mad, fam. That's mad. That's mad, fam. Like, you man can't talk. Like, you lot are Jordans, fam. Yeah? You were Jordans then and you're Jordans now. It's the kids over there that are doing the most, fam. And that's the It's crazy, fam. My fuck thing, though. Because they don't even know what they're banging out for. And I, and, I, and I hope, like, someone over there has sense and sit down the orders and ask them, really, like, what's, what's good, like, how did this really start? Cause when they dig up the truth out of the dirt, see that lie that sounded pretty, and it looked good. <laughs> and they told you the truth, yeah, a smart individual, a smart Yanji will say, yo, this is long, fam. I'm about my money, man. I'm out of here, fam. Where, furthermore, where's the rest of the man that, that were there? Car, bear in mind, there was 300 people on that road. Not one person on that road can say they saw me mash the works. Not one, but... <coughs> you ask anyone, you hear a bunch of he say, she say. And that's mad. That's why you see my side of things. They have no problems with stepping. But the thing though, them brother in jail. Are you not crazy, fam? Man's gonna bring it to you until my man's out, fam. Yeah? I'm just letting him down. I'm just trying to let people know, fam, car. I've been quiet for a while, fam. And that, that was allowing people to think things and speculate and have opinions and say things and act like you know things. You don't know nothing. You'll understand this pain, this sort of pain, fam, because if you did, you'll be onto man for plaster or strap for the forest gate. You'll be onto all of them. For the foul play that they committed back then. You are. Well, what onto man? Don't let man know, brother. Yo. It's not a game, fam, man. This, this road thing is a lie, fam. It's done out here, fam. I want these kids to wake up quick. Before it's too late, some brother in jail. Are you not crazy, fam? Man? Now, this whole situation has ended up leading to many, many more deaths in the Newham borough. And more and more young people have inherited the beef that they know nothing about. Rest in peace to Stephen Lewis and condolences to his family. You can never completely heal from losing a loved one. But let's hope that the youth can learn from this story. What are your views? Is he guilty or is he innocent?